is next. All right, we're underway. Fight! A referee, Gabriel Martins, gets things started. And they cut very different figures, but look at the height there of Nacieli to Jesus. She's five foot ten. She's one of the tallest competitors in her uh, weight division, Fight. in the heavyweight weight division. And uh, she uses those legs to good effect, right, Chase? She's got a great guard. Yeah, and I was surprised to see her even uh, start any wrestling there. Just to, that's Gabby's forte. And but you see the problem now with Gabby and Thompson. That's equally equally dangerous scenario here. But Nacieli's guard is so good. She has an amazing closed guard. Uh, look for these arm bars and triangles to be thrown up here. But you got to be careful with someone like Gabby because the stack is always present. Yeah. Gabby knows how to use her weight very effectively. She knows how to put the pressure on. But look at that, wrapping up a standing ankle lock right there. But the opportunity there for Nachi to grab a leg. But do you want to risk going underneath? Gabby goes, look at this, climbing up. She's got one arm in. Could go for a triangle here, but... Gabby reacting with the heavy forward pressure, the, the big stack. Flexibility, though, on uh, Nacieli. She wraps her own leg around the shoulder. Now, this is uh, kind of a classic scenario here of, of getting stacked while you're trying to throw up the triangle. Gabby is very comfortable in this position, and that is so much pressure on Nacieli. Not just her chest, but no. also her leg and knee as well. That is a huge stress position, right? You've got basically Gabby Garcia pouring all her weight down upon you, and she's actually got she's got that shoulder on the face. It's almost like a cross face from inside the triangle chest. Yeah, that is unpleasant. You can see uh, Nacieli is handling it quite well, but probably is eager to get back to a more neutral position. But Gabby drops back on a leg. Straight back on a leg because Gabby knows. Gabby knows that the judges look at those uh, those attacks, the triangle attack. She's going belly down on this footlock here. And that's actually pretty solid. Look at that. She's got the foot underneath the armpit. She's got the toes in the armpit. She's putting big extension on that. Yeah, Gabby made a point that she she uh, wanted to maybe show off her guard in this match. And here she is dropping back. Right? That is tight. That is on. And Nacieli is doing her best to unravel the position. Again, uh, some flexibility may be helping her out here, but that ankle lock looks tight. Yeah, if Gabby may get to her side and put her hips forward and put a little bit more into this, she could switch to a heel hook here. You see kind of uh, the, the, the foot is coming out. Yes, you see the heel exposure. Will Garcia switch to the heel hook here? Loses the grip and has to reset, but Nacieli is in a little bit of trouble here. Man, this is a different match. This is a different kind of match that we've expected to see here. You know, we always expect to see big top pressure from Gabby Garcia, and we definitely saw that. But did we expect to see a leg lock shootout like this? See Nacieli De Jesus trying to go for an inside heel hook. But look at that pressure. You see now Gabby running around oh. to the side. She's almost got around. That was an incredible framing uh, job there done by Nacieli to prevent that pass. Really well done because Gabby was coming. And you know what? You can probably hear him, but in the corner is Nacieli's husband, Manuel Hibamar, himself a Nogi world champion. And he was out of his chair at one point there. When they were scrambling after that leg lock shootout, man, he is up and he is urging Nachi to get busy in this. Because, you know, so far, hey, it's been pretty interesting. Both have had their moments. Yeah, it's been a really, really fun match. And I, I'm liking Gabby's creativity, dropping back for the leg locks, as well as doing what she does best and, and, and using that pressure and stacking. But Nacho is held up to the flame quite nicely, really not looking phased and getting off attacks of her own. She's looking quite comfortable with, with the challenge that Gabby is presenting her right now. I think that comes with the experience of having faced off with Garcia more than once, albeit in the gi, a different scenario for sure, a different strategy. However, she's had a taste of the pressure, you know? She knows what it feels like. And, like, I've never competed against Gabby Garcia. I've never had that kind of pressure at me. I'm not sure how I would handle it for the first time in a competition. So the, having that experience and knowing what it feels like at least Kind of, I, I can imagine that would help a lot because, man, you just look at this. The way the Gabby is diving now on another leg lock attack here. Now, this is interesting. If Nacieli untangles this position and gets on top, yeah, we can see down. a very unique situation, but she's far from out of danger yet. Here we are. Her legs Putting are Garcia on her back for the first time. This is the first time we've seen Garcia on her back in a long time. This half guard position, a very low half guard position. She looks very comfortable here, but this is a significant chase. We almost never see Gabby Garcia forced to her back. Oh, but now she's in deep half. This is a great position for Gabby to get out. Peace oh, out and the a back. beautiful out the back door. 
reversal onto top, straight into this smash pass position. Heavy pressure once again. Beautiful technique there from Gabi Garcia. Yeah, very crafty move. Gets right back into her A game. And uh, a lot of time to work here. Ten and a half minutes left, and we've seen a ton of different positions exchanged. Uh, a lot of different uh, looks from both opponents. And look at Gabby using using her frame there to open open the guard by just like, sprawling. That has to be uncomfortable. Yeah, the uh, you've heard it called various names. You heard it called the alternately the Sao Paulo pass or the Tozzi pass. But that sprawling out with the underhook inside the closed guard. A lot of people uh, discredit it, but I can tell you from experience, I've had that done to me by some very, very good jiu-jitsu players, and it is very effective, and Gabby knows how to do it. But this standing posture, you have to think, is definitely her best bet, and she's putting that forward pressure on with the knee. But, man, Nachi's guard, her legs are so long. But look at this. Once again, Garcia dropping on the ankle lock, going forward this time. A big extension on that foot. Man, she's really racking up these attacks, Chase. She's just going after leg lock after leg Nat lock. Shelley's going for her own, going for a heel hook now. Can she get the torque necessary to force a defense? Because right now, Gabby Garcia looks pretty relaxed, even in the face of a dead set outside a heel hook. And just sets back into this position, almost like a 50-50 position right now. And not out of danger, possibly an inside heel hook now. That, there that it is. Switch to the inside heel hook. Gabby's shaking her head no, but this is a dangerous position here. I would not want to hang out. But Gabby looks very comfortable, very confident. Man, if Nacheli de Jesus can get the necessary pressure on that knee, she could force a submission here. But Gabby Garcia just looks so relaxed. Just another day in the office. Barely even trying to defend that heel hook. She's just dropping back for her own. Absolutely no concern whatsoever. But man, Chase, that looks dangerous, man. That looks compromised. It does, but Nacieli seems to be taking a, a moment to assess the situation. She's no longer cranking and is holding the position. Meanwhile, Gabby is cinching up an ankle lock of her own. You see Nacieli uh, gives it up and switching maybe to strictly an ankle lock. Goes back to the heel hook now. This is good. She's got that, that perfect leg entanglement, and Gabby really not even addressing the legs. She's actually holding the Achilles there. She's not even trying to untangle legs or escape her legs. She's so comfortable there, but you have to think, is that a risky strategy? Because, you know, all it takes is a, a micro adjustment from Nacieli to Jesus, and she could potentially get breaking power on that knee joint. Yeah, Gabby, Gabby seems to have felt... Uh, that that was the best she was going to see from Nacieli. And Extracts her leg. And man, once again, you can hear him, but Manuel Hibamar over there, out of his chair in the corner, just losing his mind in this match. And I got to say, if my significant other was going up against Gabby Garcia, I'd probably be out of my chair as well. Yeah, Carol be in trouble in that case. But uh, that was an amazing exchange there. And one that I don't think anyone would have been predicting uh, at a leg lock shootout, like we said. So we're almost at the exact halfway point in this match. And you know what? Man, Gabby has had some vicious straight ankle locks. Big extension, big flexion on the foot. And yet, has Nacieli, have Nacieli's heel hook attacks been equally dangerous, equally compromising? Have they put, like I said, the necessary pressure on the joint to put her in danger? You have to say the way that, that Gabby is walking around and the, 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 the impassive look on her face in those moments, I'm not so sure that they really had that much effect. No, but what we can see though, is a, a little bit of fatigue setting in. Gabby looks fresh, yeah. but Nacieli was looking a little, a little gas after that last exchange. Oh, and we still yeah. have seven minutes left. That could be uh, not a great situation for, for Nacieli if she continues to, to feel a drag, feel a drain here. Now, you spoke to both competitors uh, in the days leading up to this, uh, to this event, Chase. You know, you, uh, Gabby, she had some very strong words, and, and it was, she really seems to want to make a statement tonight, right? Yeah, G Gabby's very proud of her number one ranking and status in the community, being the winningest ADCC uh, women's champ ever. And she says, if you challenge me, 
come fight, I'm ready. I'll take on anyone if anyone challenges me. She said, if Gordon Ryan challenges me, I will take that fight because it's my job. She had she looked very serious all week and was really fired up. And you can see it out here tonight. She's not playing games. This is for keeps for her, and uh, definitely matters even more since they've split a pair of wins. She yeah. wants to, she wants to take the lead here. And it's important to note that it wasn't Nachi that challenged Gabby, but I think that Nachi is feeling the the force, the brunt of that frustration because look at this though. P possible back take attempt here for Nachi if she can know, but it is Gabby who comes up wrestling now, okay. coming up for this rear body lock. Can she keep her in bounds? Yeah, they're going to move back into the center yeah. in this same position. But man, I think that Nachi Eli is receiving, she's getting the brunt of that frustration because Gabby is so fired up with other people within the community. She's like, no, I'm going to make a statement tonight with whoever's in front of me because I want them all to know. I'm putting them all on notice. Um, I think we want Nachi's hands on the ground, but let's see what happens here. This could be a pretty savage mat return. Yeah, that was N smart Nachi move avoids there that by Nachielli. Smart move, but a very quick card recovery. Definitely the safest thing to do in that situation. Yeah, Even. I would not want to have a body lock from Gabby Garcia. Uh, but now Nachielli's in a, one of her best positions in this high guard here. Uh, she opts to open that up and see what happens next. But you can see already, you can see the way that Garcia is, is, is you know, kind of like hooking the lower leg. She's already sort of uh, pummeling in for that. Uh, you can think, man, she's going to drop back for that straight angle lock. It's, it's, it's coming. She's shown it a few times, and it's, uh, to her credit, it looks like it's on. It looks dangerous. There's some uh, conversation going on out here. Yeah, I think there's the referee was giving them a little nod as well, kind of like, come on, keep busy, because we do want to see action. We've seen a lot so far. We have seen a lot so far, and it's still over five minutes remaining in this match. But, you know, they, they can't afford to slow down, right? No, but you also can't afford to make mistakes. So they're being measured with their movements. And I think you're right, Hal, that, that we will see Gabby drop back eventually. She also seems to kind of drop over the top as she right. goes for these, these ankle locks. Uh, Which is kind of a scary thought, right? Because you know that when you go for that ankle and uh, you drop back, you have to kind of ease the pressure on. But you fall into it, and that's a lot of pressure all of a sudden. Yeah, speaking of pressure, Gabby really putting it on there, going for kind of an over-under, trying to get under that left leg of Nacielli with an underhook. But Nacielli doing a great job of staying composed, framing, and uh, really neutralizing a lot of Gabby's pass attempts. Feels to me that Gabby Garcia, at this stage in the match, doesn't fear Nacielli's guard. I mean, you can see right there, she's actually reaching her hand back inside to go for this stat pass. Threat of the triangle, not an issue. Just reaches the hand back in. She feels comfortable enough that she can defend it and she can put on the pressure and have her own attack. And you know, the judges, they see that. They see that, the, the, the intention, imposing your will on your opponent is so valuable. You know, the, the judges, they they will look at that when if if this goes the decision. Nache looking to come up for a quick headlock or gain attempt, but Gabby was having none of it, pushes her back down. Um, but I think this may work to Nachielli's favor if Gabby continues to disrespect Nachielli's guard and let her go for these attacks. I mean, those will rack up as attempts, and Gabby isn't really hitting the counter she's looking for. She's not getting these smash passes out of those scenarios, so this may end up working out okay for Nachielli. Yeah, you can actually hear the coach Manuel Hibama again, you know, urging Nacielli to action and saying to basically cross the, the leg over to go high. There's an Oma Plata, there is the threat of an Oma Plata here, but Garcia has shown more than once that she just can easily rip out of that. And look at this again, going belly down on an ankle. Hasn't quite got the uh, pressure on it yet. Now a little bit better. Now you can see a straight line from Nachi's knee all the way down to her toe. That is flexion on that ankle. I think she's gonna have to put an ice pack on that later. Yeah, that looks that looks on. Gabby really selling out here. But Nacielli has a toe hold, it looks like. I can't quite see uh, on her own. It looks somewhat loose because you can see Gabby was shaking her head like no big deal. They're and, you know, this is the thing, isn't it? You enter into the leg lock shootout and there's always the chance that you leave your own leg dangling for something. Any time that Nachi has gone for a leg lock on Gabby, Gabby's like, uh-uh, not happening. Well, we've got 
just over two and a half minutes remaining so far in this match. And I gotta say, Chase, this is probably one of the most action-packed matches of the evening. Yeah, they are really going for it out there and it has been non-stop. I'm liking the exchanges of, of top and bottom position for both athletes, a lot of submission attempts, really no stalling at all. That open guard from Nacieli is uh, is definitely something that saved her in Going these for a positions. Bit of a matrix here, matrix back take. She's almost around, but Gabby slides out of danger. Great Just recovery, and this straight back on her leg lock attack of her own. Lost position a little bit. Could go for a heel hook here. It looks like Nachi's uh, left leg is, is free. She may be able to counter this position here. Oh, could she get the back here? If she can get that leg free, she could ride out this match in a very, very dangerous position. Oh, head and arm choke. Strong cross face here using the head and arm choke. She gets, she's got the back. Both she's hooks got in. both hooks in. This is huge. Flattens Garcia out, looking for the rear naked choke here. This is a very bad position. Garcia is trying to recover. She's got one hook out. She's stripping through. She's looking to go for the deep half again. Go out the back door. But Nacieli is going high. She's going for the arm triangle. She's going for the gift wrap. Can she get the finish? She's got 90 seconds remaining. Yeah, really impressive transition there from Nacieli to take the attempted healer from Gabby into the best position she could find. Dropping off now from her arm, but wow. Beautiful escape there from Gabby Garcia. Nachi Ellie to Jesus was persistent in trying to get the, the choke from the back, switching to the arm triangle, but Garcia just calmly, patiently working her way out. Absolutely no panic or rush whatsoever, and just gradually getting out. But Chase, that matters. Positional advancement. The judges saw that, flattened out, both hooks in. Gabby's got to get busy now. Yeah, that was the most uh, pivotal moment of the match, easily, without question. And now now we're in an interesting position where uh, double overhooks and a really high guard is really stifling any kind of action from Gabby. She's got to pull off something uh, incredible here to really get back the lost ground that Nacelli just got. You know, Garcia has gone for leg lock after leg lock tonight. She was a little overzealous with that one heel hook attack. It enabled Nachi to get the back off it. And again, as we see Garcia drop back into this half guard position now, she's in a strong defensive position, a good shell. However, Nachi Eli is going to ride this match out in top position. This is, is significant as well because the last thing that the judges see, that's the most fresh thing in their memory. Man, this could really influence the decision right now. Oh, she's in this. a great passing position. Time is gonna run out, but what a way to finish the match. Almost it completes the knee cut pass right on the 15 minute mark. What a match, Chase. I would say match of the evening. That was insane. What what a performance. Really, really credit to both athletes, but Nachi Ellie really pulling it out there at the end. Let's see what the judges have to say. You see Nachi claim the victory there with her arms up, nothing from Garcia. The judges are gonna call it. It is blue, Nacieli unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, you're the winner, Nacieli de Jesus.